Welcome to the ICE podcast, supported by the U.S. Soybean Export Council, an initiative to enable the cold chain industry of India to be future ready. Welcome back, listeners. You have tuned in to ICE podcast on the topic of cold chain technology. I'm Manjunath, and I'm going to speak today about a different topic. After hearing the talks by experts on topics like the relevance, the components, and the stakeholders' ecosystem in a professional cold chain, it's time to learn the various applications and uses of the cold chain. Fundamentally, the cold chain applications are broadly classified into three temperature zones. The first temperature zone is 15 to 22 degrees Celsius, the second is 2 to 8 degrees, and the third is minus 20 to minus 25 degrees Celsius. Cold chain has applications in 8 to 10 sectors of business. Food sectors like dairy, horticulture produce, poultry meat, seafood, ready to cook and ready to eat. These are some of the processed food and raw food uh, cold chains. There are a few other uh, cold chain applications in the non-food sectors like floriculture, pharmaceuticals and engineering industry like uh, electronics and biomedical devices. As far as the food cold chains are concerned, it is critical that all food cold chains have to be robust and unbroken in order to ensure the protection, preservation and the quality upkeep of the produce that is being stored and transported through those cold chains. In terms of the size and reach of uh, cold chains, the largest application of cold chain in India is in the dairy sector. Milk is the fundamental produce and from milk a range of products are manufactured like ice cream, cheese, paneer, butter, lassi, buttermilk, curds, etc. So in all these products of milk, it is critical to have temperature control. Milk-based products like ice cream and butter, they need a constant temperature of minus 20 degrees centigrade or below for storage and transportation right from the manufacturing plant, from the dairy manufacturing plant up to the retail point of sale. This is a difficult cold chain application and needs great discipline and reliable equipment. For example, the butter storage. The butter is blast frozen to a core temperature of minus 20 degrees Celsius and then this butter is stored and transported at the same temperature of minus 20 degrees Celsius throughout its journey from the fact from the uh, dairy plant right up to the uh, retail stores. An interesting application of frozen cold chains is in the field of poultry meat. Processed chicken meat is invariably frozen and hence requires a negative temperature cold chain which operates in the range of 20, minus 20 to minus 25 right from its journey from the processing plants to the retail point of sale and finally to the consumer's refrigerator. Seafood industry requires cold chains for frozen and chilled products both within the country and for overseas exports. Another interesting application of cold chain is in the storage and transportation of horticulture produce, wherein two critical parameters are to be maintained, temperature and relative humidity. This cold chain actually ideally should start from the farm and should end right at the point of retail sale or at the processing facility. This application calls for additional and deeper understanding of the product physiology and established protocols for storage and transportation. All along this cold chain, it is important to maintain not only temperature and relative humidity, but also other parameters like carbon dioxide and ethylene control and evacuation of these gases where they are harmful to the produce. Storage and transportation of certain confectionery and bakery products demands cold chains that are specifically designed with tighter temperature controls and lower humidity in line with the product characteristics. 
Cold chain applications for ready to cook and ready to eat sector demand dual temperature management and stronger transportation systems that render well to multipoint deliveries. This part especially comes in the transportation piece of the cold chain. Today, with the evolution of technology, the cold chain applications are finding wider usage to enhance product quality, consumer reach and shelf longevity. With tighter regulations and emphasis on food safety, the demand and application of tracking and tracing consignment temperatures, consignment humidities and other parameters like the time from the from uh, the time uh, from when the product has left the factory till it is actually consumed these tracking and tracing of these parameters is gaining utmost importance and there's a lot of development that is happening so tracking tracing uh, using uh, automation using internet of things using uh, uh, other protocols that actually can collect the data have now become an integral part of a good cold chain application. We will hear more in detail of these areas in the future episodes. As we proceed into our next episodes, we will bring in more information from different experts on the various technical and application aspects of cold chain technology. Until we meet next, chill it with cold chain.